And now once you have your, uh, your first drum kit saved, Close Drum Kit Designer, we're going to highlight our second drummer track. Move your mouse pointer down over the blue drum kit designer in the channel strip here, and we're going to change that to drum machine designer. Now there are other ways to do this. You can use sampler. If you're familiar with sampler, you can use that. I am uh, intimately more familiar with drum machine designer than I am with anything else. So for designing steel drum kits, which is what we're going to be doing in a minute, I prefer to use Drum Machine Designer. So we're going to be creating steel drum kits, one for each key that you might need. All right. The library will open by default on the left, which that's what this is. If it doesn't, you press Y to open it. We're going to leave it open, but don't click on anything in the library yet. We're going to open drum machine designer, which that's what this is, and you're going to see an empty kit. It's three windows, 16 pads on each window. And that's what we want. The drummer track in Logic normally plays untuned percussion and it ignores the project key. But when you're using drummer, the drummer track, to play tuned percussion, like steel drums or vibraphone, you have to use a kit that's in the proper key. One difference between using a MIDI track or MIDI loops and a drummer track to play a drum track is that MIDI tracks, MIDI loops, in Logic conform and adapt to the project key. Drummer tracks do not. I prefer to use drummer to play all percussion because of the fact that it can add fills and play with a feel that MIDI tracks cannot. But the trade-off is that when I'm using drummer to play tuned percussion, I have to set up different tuned percussion kits in different keys. There's different ways to do this, like I said, but besides using Drum Machine Designer, uh, you can use Sampler, but I am familiar with Drum Machine Designer, so that's what I'm going to use. So when you open Drum Kit Designer, normally it's going to open to an empty kit, just like what you're seeing here. Click on the first pad. You notice how there's an input and an output note? The output note is going to matter in a minute. We have to change the output note to match the key we're in. And uh, so I'm working in the key of A major. I would change the output note to something in that A major triad. I'm not going to, I'll explain this better in just a minute. But this is what the empty kit looks like. We would go over here to the sound library, look for Caribbean steel drums, click on that, and yeah, highlight something there. Okay, and that's how you add patches to each pad, but then you have to change the output note so that it matches what key you're working in. This is an empty kit. I'm going to show you a kit that I've already created so you understand. So let's go to A10 steel drums. All right, so this is a kit that I had already created in the key of A major. And so you put the Caribbean steel drums uh, sample on each pad here, and then change the output note to anything in the A major triad. So like this, the output note is uh, A4. Same thing here, E, the A major triad is A, C sharp, and E. So you just pick uh, A, C sharp, and E in any one of the octaves, and you're good. And that's what they sound like.
And once you have what you want, and you're going to want to make sure there's there's two other windows here, you're going to want to make sure and do that for all the pads. Uh, and the reason for that is because uh, when we have the Logic Drummer playing this, we don't really have too much control over what pads it plays. Uh, it could be playing pads on the second or third screens, and we just want to make sure that it's whatever it's playing, it's playing the right sample. So that's it. So we've created a, uh, a kit, a steel drum kit, in uh, Drum Machine Designer to be played in the key of A major. Uh, you want to make sure you save that. A major steel drums. Okay. And you can also save that in your user patches down here. Just click on save. And it's going to fill in the name automatically. Click on save. There you go. Now it's going to be listed in your user patches. So um, let's have a look at another one. Let's look at uh, my uh, C major. So this is a kit that I created in the key of C major, C4, E4, C2, G3. Those are all in the C major triad. And all of the pads are populated. All right, but we are going to use A major. And there's our A major steel drums. So now we've created uh, steel drums in the key of A major. It's actually pretty easy to uh, save them in different keys. So we're going to open Drum Machine Designer again. There's our A major steel drums. Let's pretend like we want to do them. We want to do a, a D major steel drum kit. Well, A is already in uh, the D major triad, so all we have to do is add the D major triad. So change these so they're in the D major triad, which is D, F sharp, and A. F sharp. A is already good. D, F sharp, this can be another D, and A is good, okay, A is good, make that a D, and pretty much just go through each pad and uh, change them to change the output notes to either D, F sharp, or A, and then go up here and rename that D major drums, D major steel drums. All right, and same thing with other keys. You know, if you wanted to create uh, E major D steel drums, just change that to anything in the E major triad, which is uh, E, G sharp, and B. And uh, that's it. And then save it as E major steel drums. So, like I said, once you've got the first steel drum kit set up, it's not that difficult to, change, to create uh, steel drum kits in other keys. So at this point, we now have multiple reggae-style drum kits that any drummer in Logic can play, including steel drum kits that any drummer in Logic can play in several of the popular reggae keys. So assuming you still have Drum Machine Designer open, you're going to save the last kit that you were working on, and you're going to close Drum Machine Designer. If there's any regions appearing here in these drummer tracks, delete the regions. Okay, go up to the first drummer track, highlight that, and 
click on the little plus key. Actually, it helps if you add some arrangement markers in here first, but I'm not going to do that right now. So we're just going to add a dormer region here. All right. And then down here in the steel drums, we're going to add a dormer region. All right. Don't play these yet. We're going to highlight both regions and then go into the drummer editor. So if the drummer editor is not open, you're going to press E to open the drummer editor. And that's what this is down here. You're going to look down here under the beat presets. That's what this is. Something is going to be highlighted. It might be custom, it might be one of the existing stock presets, but something's going to be highlighted. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the snare, I mean the, the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. All right, we're going to dial the fills all the way up. Or you could play with that if you want to, but I like a lot of fills. And then dial the swing all the way up. Actually, let's dial the fills down a little bit here. All right. I'm going to click on the yellow 16th note under swing. Click on details. Turn your ghost notes all the way up. Sounds cool that way. Uh, the other thing is I like... Um, a kind of an open hi-hat. It sounds kind of splashy and it sounds good in reggae. So uncheck the automatic and move your hi-hat about halfway between open and closed. Alright, click on details again. You're going to move your hi-hat slider up to uh, 3. You can set it on whatever you want. I'm just choosing what I like, what sounds good to me. Kick and snare slider are on, and we're going to move them up to two. All right. And then we're going to save this beat preset. You're going to hear it in a minute. Actually, I'm going to show you. If you want to save it, you just click on that, the ellipsis here and click on save save preset you also want to click on keep settings when changing drummers and keep drum kit when changing drummers i'm going to show you the beat preset i already finished which is reggae right here all right i'm going to click on the ellipsis click on keep settings when changing drummers and keep drum kit when changing drummers all right and then if you haven't already saved your preset, you just click on Save Preset. All right. But I don't really need to do that. So I'm going to delete this. Delete that and go back up to my reggae preset. Okay. Now, if we play this, I'm just going to play the first one, uh, the first track. Let's mute the second one. All right. Actually sounds pretty darn good right there. And actually I wouldn't want to tweak that at all. Maybe in the mixing process I might turn some of the kick pieces up. But I don't really need to change anything as it sounds pretty darn good the way it is. Alright, so now we're going to mute that and go down to the steel drums and unmute that or solo it doesn't make any difference and play it it's on repeat i'm gonna pick a reggae preset doesn't that sound cool
so we could even move that up to where it kicks in on the second measure. I'm going to unmute this and just play this selection. It's the way it is. So that's how easy it is. Once you've got your steel drum kits set up in different keys, that's how easy it is to have drummer play steel drums. And, you know, it's it's not like having a live drummer do it, but it's a pretty good alternative. It, it, it's really not bad. Um, and, uh, you know, so that gives you a good foundation to work with. Another thing you can do is add another track. So you can add another steel drum track. And we'll have, we'll pick uh, D. Um, yeah. And add a fill here. Or uh, add, an, add an intro, something like that. Just a little, a little something different. beat preset for that and play it again and for mixing purposes I'm not going to actually show you how uh, how to mix them that's another that's another video but for mixing purposes or actually monitoring purposes you can click on the disclosure triangle. See this disclosure triangle on the left here while it's playing? And see which kit pieces are sounding and adjust the levels if you want. But a better place to do that is in the mixer. So this is uh, this is the uh, finished pro the project that I've been working on. All right, these are all producer kits basically. So you can expand them and see how each kit is, how each kit piece is playing. You can see check the levels. You can apply effects and all that kind of stuff. Uh, not really going to go into that into a whole lot of detail other than show you the mixer view. So I'm going to hit X to look at the mixer view. And this is our first producer kit, the Caribbean of Steel kit. I've already got it expanded out. And it shows there's a channel strip here for each kit piece. It's playing. So I can adjust my levels if I need to for each kit piece. I can apply effects. I've already done some, not a whole lot, but some. All right, and then over here is our, that's the, that's the uh, drum kit designer kit. Over here are the steel drums in blue here. And we can expand these out too. So see how there's a little arrow key there? Just click on that, and that will expand the steel drums out so we can see all the channel strips associated with that. That shows you what's playing. And so we can adjust our levels. I got them all highlighted, I know. And the same thing with their D major drums. Well, there's only one measure of that. There it is. So that's how the mixer view works. Just hit X to close it. And collapse that again. 
right? One more thing you can do. You don't have to, but if you want to tighten this up even more is you can make one of these a groove track. So I'm going to pick my uh, acoustic kit, go to um, track header components, and pick groove track. Make that a groove track and have the others conform to it like that. So now when you play, it just kind of tightens things up. They really don't need to be tightened up anymore. Everything's playing in perfect coordination with everything else. The groove track can uh, make it sound a lot more polished. drum kit that I set up in drum kit designer and with steel drums that I had created steel drum kits that I had created in uh, different keys in drum machine designer again seems like a lot of work but once you do it the first time you can save it as a template and um, well your work's pretty much already done for you so if you wanted to save this as a template you could just delete these tracks. I mean, delete the regions. All right. Save it as a template and call it uh, a major reggae or anything like that. And there you go. So you've got a beginning template that you can use for reggae uh, and your first three tracks are your rhythm tracks. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy. And uh, as always, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and leave your comments below and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. All right, have a good day. Bye.